What? Hell yeah. Wow. Oh, fuck yeah. Guys. Guys. Definitely. Definitely make sure you get out and vote, everybody. We gotta make it known to the system that we totally consent and we agree that we, we all feel the system works. We all know that we have power with our vote. We, we have this amazing system in the best country in the planet, on the planet, that truly gives us the people the power because we have the ability to vote. <laughs> and we can truly vote in <laughs> those who have our interests at heart. It'll work eventually. I know the last one didn't work, and the one before that didn't work, and the one before that, but it was the Tea Party's fault, and it was the Republicans' fault, and it was the Democrats' fault, and it, we'll get it right, because the system works, guys. Vote. Make sure you vote. Make sure you let the system know that you, you totally consent and agree and feel that it works. Make sure you register. I haven't registered. I'm not a registered. I don't vote. I'm a bad American. Don't be like me, guys. I'm what the cops call a sovereign citizen. Someone who... That shit blew my mind. I, I always associated the word sovereignty and sovereign as a totally positive and good thing. Like, you're not a slave. But see, that's a bad thing. Good people follow orders. Whether they're from Germany, you know, from back in the day, or yeah, yeah, you get my point. I mean, Jesus Christ, guys. If you have selfish, ignorant citizens, if you have selfish, ignorant citizens, you're going to get selfish, ignorant leaders. It's, this country was bought and sold and paid for a long time ago. The shit they shuffle around every four years <laughs> doesn't mean a fucking thing. And secondly, I don't vote because I believe if you vote, you have no right to complain. So, uh, such common sense. All right. Um, I started this video because. <laughs> and then I came across this. There's always something, man. But I started this video. Because I was listening to my last two. And it's just amazing to me. How disjoint, how disjointed my thoughts and shit are, and and the way I talk, I'm extremely hermetic. I mean, it's, it's odd considering I have the radio show where I have to talk, and I, I make music where I'm obviously very vocal and verbal. But I don't know, like uh, I have, I, I don't, I'm not on the phone like most of you people. Right, like I haven't had a phone call. I, I holy shit, I'm trying to remember the last time I was on the phone on with a, on a phone call, and I can't. Okay, put it that way. The phone I have now just sits in airplane mode because I'm not leaving it on to fucking beam in radiation all fucking day, because I might get a phone call. I don't use. I stopped using my tablet. I I weaned up. I don't answer the. Uh, comment section i don't look at the comment section i don't even know who's commenting if anyone's commenting i avoid it i don't even want to know i weaned off I, I can't sit through a goddamn movie i can't sit through television shows all this shit bores me to tears there's, there's nothing there what the hell's my point well i'm listening to my last two videos and it's like jesus christ i'm fucking marble mouth but I'm, I'm explaining, I think that's why, because, you know, I'm not a all social, I'm not a social butterfly talking to people all day in real life and on the phone. I'm content in my own, by myself, in my own head, okay? Monk status. And to my buddy worried about uh, women, find content within yourself. You don't need that. How do the trees stay with the fire being so intense it melts the cars? How did the trees not get burned if this was a fire? Why are the trees... 
Don't worry about it. Side out. How does an external? All right. I just wanted to elaborate possibly a little bit more clearly what I've been saying in the last two videos. All right. Just to sum it up, um, information seems to point to, you know, see, I don't want to say like, this is what I think or my opinion. Like, as far as I'm concerned, this, this is what's fucking happening. Uh, I've yet to hear or see anybody actually dispute anything except just brush it off and say, no, that, that's not happening. Like that, that's not presenting a debate or, or evidence to prove otherwise. That you put no, like, you know, weight into think tanks and the UN and certain agendas. Just because, you know what I'm saying? Just because you fucking don't think it's happening. That That's not any kind of substantial evidence. All right. Um, if you haven't noticed, they're imposing austerity. They're telling us we're putting out too much carbon and there needs to be less of us. This is bullshit. Because they, they have this green agenda where they just want less people because it's easier to control less people. And they want to eventually herd us into these mega regions. Now, how are they going to get people to move out of their areas? We're, we're not. Not knowingly anyway. So they have to use a Hegelian dialectic tactic, right? They have to do something where you either move on your, of your own volition or you ask them for help. You come running to please take our guns away. Oh, we can't stop shooting each other in schools, apparently. Please take our guns away. Do you, under, do you understand? Do you see how that would work? All right, so they're imposing austerity. This has been going on. This has been an agenda. Like, I, oh, man, I don't want to get sidetracked, but I'm remembering, like, things they presented us in elementary school about the polar caps melting and global warming. Like, I, man, when I look back at the indoctrination, like, I want to punch my teachers in the fucking face. Because I, I ate that shit all up. Oh, we got to stop it. Whatever has to be done. I was right on board, man. Yeah, because that's why they condition you when you're young in schools. And there's a schedule. And, like, everything's very deliberate. And it's for conditioning. But look. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, we're not going to give up the Second Amendment for no reason. And they're not going to openly do it with an iron fist. That's that's what made America different from other countries. OK, that was the experiment. It wasn't going to be a tyrannical, blatant. Communist iron fist. Where when you bad mouth the government, they just, you know, pull you out of your house and just blow your head off in the open. It's more covert. Take you to Gu Guantanamo Bay. Right. Because now. Ever since the Patriot Act, right? They, they, they can detain any American and just you just disappear, buddy. That never happens, though. There's no missing persons. All right, moving on, right? It's problem, reaction, solution. We end up begging for our rights to be taken. And we demand the government steps in, which they happily will. FEMA, come save us. You have to learn about these organizations, who's running them, their origins. By all means, if someone has contradicting information, I'd love to, you know, please. But you don't. Because the only people that don't believe this shit are people that don't look into anything and just listen to TV. The TV would tell me what's going on. That would be a conflict of interest. And, and the fucking, there's no real journalists left. You're not allowed to do real journalism. I remember this one weatherman was pointing out, hey, this is Shafe, military planes drop it. But they're not supposed to tell you that. Blah, blah, blah. He lost his job. Ben Swan, remember him? He would like break legitimate fucking stories. Ah, he gets the fucking boot. Every, you can't be a real journalist. You have to read the script. Why you guys, why do you still listen to the, listen, the, these Organizations can't exist without support. Turn your fucking TVs off. I haven't watched cable. The only time I hear and see this shit is when I'm I'm walking out through the house and it's on in the on the fucking other TV that my father watches and it drives me fucking bonkers. And I just 
And I already know his stance on things, what he thinks about everything, how he feels about everything, because I, I know his, his programming. I don't even have to watch TV anymore to know what the fuck they push. Listen to Alan Watt, because uh, he's great at breaking down everything and explaining the psychology of shit. That, that's the, one of the most important things that why people can't understand why this would be done or how this would be done. Understand the psychology and then it all makes fucking sense. It's just sad that why are we at war? Why are we being, you know what I'm saying? Well, because the it's fucking people in power are going to maintain that power. I'm leaving money out of it because money is just a construct. It's, you know, it's a tool. It's a fucking facade, especially in the state that we have it as, as the American dollar. Try not to get too loud. It's almost five in the fucking morning. Um, yeah, everything's garbage. Now everybody implore us. You still ain't figured out that they all funded by Soros. You virtual signal your morals and love to get authority involved in your quarrels. And if I ain't offend you with one of these quotes, you wrote it on yourself. Only dope rock the vote for real. Stop consenting to the system, then blaming victim. Your bomb will fly by the boy. Hear this. Phil G seeks one. Come correct that is I. Biatch. Probably about a third of the house. Stupid rap. Rap sucks, am I right? No lyrics, no substance. No wonder that that guy can't literally sell a single record and nobody fucking gives a fuck or supports him. All this. No wonder. Listen, he sucks. Let's listen to more sucky fucking music. Check this out. It all sucks. Of course I can't make a living on music or fucking get anywhere with it. I'm terrible at it. No more playing games or great pretending. Give it what I got and when I drop like shots at heaven. Just dead. Slow it down, we underground descent. We make them gather round, cause pound for pound we lead the weapons. Let's get it. The shit I'm hearing now with days for death. Yo, got nothing to say and acting stupid than the trash. Somebody call an ambulance. Yo, really need to dead. Okay, so let's pull out a little bit and take a look at all of the lots that are in the picture. The thing that you're going to notice is the decimation, the obliteration is consistent. Every house is built differently. It has different uh, pieces of furniture and, and it has different things inside it. They all should burn. Very and this fucking house was cut in half. That makes sense. It's a replicated pattern of absolute. And it's accurate and persistent fires. Okay, so let's pull out a little bit and take. Now that's natural. Listen. <laughs> Wildfires and house fires always leave the trees standing all around the burn down shit and um that's what fires do you didn't know that they burn your cars and and your home into fucking scorched earth flat nothingness even if, even chimneys and shit it's amazing <laughs> glass melts metal melts look at that isn't that crazy when wildfires you know leave a perfect symmetrical fucking chunk of your house <laughs> you know what could do that do weapons thank god we don't have them and they don't use them holy shit you imagine the floods and fires and devastation they could cause and we wouldn't even be able to uh really prove it even if houses were standing with just a quarter of them perfectly standing up wouldn't be able to prove it how, how would you convince the masses this is obviously a, just regular fucking wildfires. Obviously. You gotta be stupid to question this. <laughs> I, I was just playing the music though, you know. God, it's just... Just so you know, like, you know, I, I used to always put my, um... The website link for my music. That was basically, so rather than being like, here, give me money for my fucking content. It was, instead of just straight donations, it was like it was like a way for people to, his, you get something in return. You know what I'm saying? You, you can give a dollar and get a whole album in return, rather than just donate a dollar or donate, whatever. I don't know, man. I don't know how people even uh, get that going on, because I can't get that going on at, at all. 
I can take you to my PayPal, Patreon, any of that shit. Everything's zero, 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 zero. I have to check all the time to see if, sh make sure shit ain't like broken. Like if it's linked properly. Whatever, I'm fucked. I gotta cancel fucking this Amazon Prime and I got. No, things are going great. Don't worry about me. Take a look at all of the lots that are in this picture. The thing that you're going Seriously, to these people got it much worse. I'm doing all right at the moment. This, this, you know, I, I'm waiting for the floods. It has different uh, pieces of furniture and it has different things inside it. They all should burn very differently. But what you see here is a replicated pattern of absolute decimation. So to me, this says something that's uh, repeatable and it's accurate and persistent that's a system this is not the mark of a force of nature okay so on tuesday july 31st 2018 the common sense of what i'm showing you just in this one picture basically says whatever the explanation that we've had so far from the officials about what causes these fires is basically a lie. So, when I cultivate my common sense, and I know I'm being lied to, I find out that there's more and more and more reasons as we... Yeah. Now, we're talking about fire. Now, this forest fire, when it got to this suburban tract, decided that the houses were more important to burn than the trees. And we're going to drift down a little bit here, speaking of people. It's today's war. Don't wait for a war with guns. There is no need for a war with guns when you've got this kind of a war. Like I said, weather modification. It's perfect. They destroy our homes. Yeah. Hey, almost actually let's destroy our homes family crops food and they get to hide out like little cunts little pussies never have to fucking confront it and when they do fight what do they do they get us the soldiers the idiot civilians to do the dirty work right that's why you get dog tags that's what they think you are don't be a fucking order follower Stop enforcing fucking laws that are unjust and fucked up and, you know. All these pictures come up. This is today's war. Yep. How can it not sink in? Pictures of it. Flames flooded, look. And what I'm saying is that this is the new war. This is the new war on humanity. Don't wait for a gun war. Don't wait. No, no. It's Pe moving forward. People think, I guess people still think this new world order, uh, Police are gonna kick in the door with guns, and, and you're gonna have a standoff. Is that what you think? What the fuck are the guns are? What is anything gonna do when your home is submerged to the roof? What are you gonna do with uh, if you're hoarding food, storing food? It's destroyed. It's under sewage water. You're gone. It's over. In United Arab Emirates. There's been other projects above the radar and some under the radar, but today for the first time we're putting our hand up in front of the media to say this is available. We're going to run this project here to break the drought in the Horn of Africa. Just think, we could we could put out those fires in California using this technique. Shh, shut up. Don't tell nobody that. Now that guy's MIA. God knows. Matters. This research culminated in the development of an atmospheric resonance 
Frequency technology. There's no trial here. There is no judicial determination. It's some bureaucrat or team of bureaucrats that says, we have determined that that guy is guilty of terrorism. Therefore, we have a right to kill him. The person has been charged with, and they have all of the, uh, not charged with, not indicted. And he signs a death he, warrant. He signs a death warrant. Yes, our president has a hit list of American citizens like you targeted for assassination. And there are indications that the list of Americans targeted for assassination is growing. Well, we all know that their definition of terrorism in every government, every dictatorial regime, inevitably starts going to, to the area of people who criticize what the government's doing. I have two words for you. Predator drones. Uh, arguing against it, arguing against the immorality. Ultimately, they start seeing those people as the enemy people that need to be taken out. I mean, this power is the power that the Chinese communists wield, that the Soviet communists wielded, that they wield in Burma, North Korea. That's now a core feature of the U.S. government. Conspiracy bull Come on. You're, you're a more intelligent man than that. Well, come on. Come on. That, that's the head of the CIA there. Doesn't he seem like a respectable guy who would never do anything fucked up or, you know, he, he's not, he would never do anything shady. North. I mean, hey, come on. This, 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 this has never been a conspiracy in this country. I mean, let's remember here, the people we are fighting today, we funded 20 years ago. You know, is spending... That's your, that's your girl. Before you vote for her, make sure, uh, have you heard the, the phone calls where, um, she, you know, she got off a convicted rapist and she's laughing really? about it? She's a great woman. Right from the 12th, who was the daughter of a family who was in the side of the tracks. Of course, he climbed and did all this stuff. He took a lot of different tests. I had to take a polygraph, which he passed, which forever destroyed my faith in my <laughs> the, uh, But, you know, what was sad about it was that the prosecutors had evidence among which was his underwear. His what? His underwear, which was white. Sat down at the crime lab for the pants back with the whole crime lab for evidence. So I got an order to see the evidence. The prosecutor didn't want me to see the evidence. I had to go to Moffitt Park and go to Moffitt that, yes, indeed, I had a right to see the evidence before it was presented. We had presented these other cases with Holland. I said, what kind of evidence is that? You know, they're running back with a hole in it. Of course, the crime lab had thrown away oh, the pieces they cut out. It was really, I mean, I plea bargained it down because they didn't have any, it turned out they didn't have any So he would analyze blood stains if he got interested in the case. And so the, sort of the stories from the grapevine was if he was really interested in the case, then, you know, you had the foremost expert in the world willing to testify, assuming that it came out the way you wanted it to come out. Magnifying and he sat at his little desk, you know, and I pulled out my own and I could see a slight trace, but it wouldn't be enough to test. If I went back told Malin Gibson that I had, well, I probably can't remember his name, but I cut out who's who, and I've done all this stuff, and I handed it to Malin Gibson, I said, really? Well, this guy's ready to come from New York. Yeah, it was awesome. It's a lot of fun, though. I had to get over it. But anyway, that, I did some of that. How, how did it turn out? Oh, he played bargains. He got him off. He was time served in the county jail. He's been in the county jail about two months. Wow. Graham? Before they were Don't look into the Clintons. dollars on that last three months of life for that patient. Would it be better not to lay off the, those 10 teachers and to make that trade off in medical costs? But that's called the death panel, uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. I, I will tell you, Director Deutsch, as a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, that the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. If there is any conference which required transparency which required democratic accountability it is the Bilderberg conference let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th but of course in any political system there are sort of over the table and under the table arrangements 
the United States government actually did carry out on our citizens experiments involving radiation. In one experience, scientist experiment, scientists injected plutonium into 18 patients without their knowledge. In another, doctors exposed indigent cancer patients to excessive doses of radiation, a treatment from which it is virtually impossible that they could ever benefit. Were U.S. government officials aware of drug smuggling in and around the Contra movement? And did they simply choose to ignore it? One U.S. senator says, absolutely. There's no question in my mind there is a complicity in the flow of drugs into this country, period. Any questions? This public service announcement was brought to you by the friends of the Department of Homeland Security, the Information Awareness Office, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, the President's Working Group on Financial Matters, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Rhodes Roundtable Group, and the Bohemian Club. And remember, ignorance is strength. Shut up! Conspiracy theorists. Nah. Oh. 52 years old. Um, I've worked for... Who's that? Pay no attention to that man. He doesn't, he never existed. Oh, cause I'm glad I come from America. Where at least I know I'm free. Will the people pay attention? And they looking out for me. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't subscribe to this here channel. Okay. Good. Have a good one. And create, <laughs> create your own reality, guys. Embrace the new age shit. If you, if apathy and ignoring what's happening will just make it go away. <laughs> just meditate, and then you'll never be affected by any of this stuff. No, actually, that's not how it works. Don't do that. I, if you, I hope you guys realize like the, uh, the sarcasm is thick. On this channel. From now on, motherfuckers. Deal with it.